to the YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a paint with me video. No, actually I've done. Anyway, it's been a while since I come here and talk to you while painting. So for today, here I am again. We're gonna do something new that I haven't done before. I really wanted to try spray painting since I really wanted to try spray painting for a very long time and it's time and we're going to paint with some spray paint oh I didn't actually show you what I'm going to paint I'm going to paint this I'm actually going to transform this plain buddha into a beautiful painted polished one oh actually let's see if it's going to be beautiful or not and i'm trying spray painting for the first time and also i'm not sure if spray paint works on mud clay and also on acrylic paint but i hope it works it will turn out to be good let's see that's why we are here today i'm going to paint this with rich gold color this gold color I actually wanted a metallic brown kind of color like I wanted a mixed color of gold and copper I found somebody but I didn't find it in the store there was copper and gold and I was in confusion what to take then I took this gold color because I'm going to paint black acrylic color as a base card and then spray this over because I actually wanted an antique touch like a mixture of black in it this is actually the color I wanted it's called antique bronze let's see how it turns out First, let me clean this. It clearly says that surface to be sprayed must be clean, dry, free of oil, and grease, rust, dirt, dust, or other contamination. It should be free of all that, and it is a little dusty right now, so let me clean it out. I think it's cleaned enough, so. So let's begin painting the bottom coat with black acrylic. I'm using the 50 mm, the 2 inch brush. Because I really can't take a small brush and paint this, I actually wanted to do it as fast as possible. Because then I can, then I can get into the most exciting part. bottom part first then only move to the top that is the easy way like that is the correct way to do it but I did the opposite and I don't know why So this is how you do it if you make a mistake like me. Oh my hand. Oh my hand. This is 
the only way I can do it. I'm going to fill in some areas where the paint is not applied properly with this angular brush. I think it's done now. Let it try first. I mean, by we clean this. Yeah, it's kind of dry, but this area that I painted the last is not dried completely but that's fine i'm going to paint over it shake the can upside down for at least two to three minutes vigorously okay i think it's done so i should be spraying it from here Let's begin. Let's see what's going to happen. This is so nice. It's not dried completely. What I'm going to do now is that I'm just dabbing the top portion with the tissue paper because I want that part to be a little dark. I mean like need more black than gold. So I'm just dabbing it with the tissue paper. All of the streets we used to on First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Just dab it Not too hardly or not too softly I don't always think about you Till first ever So I think we are done This is so nice Giving the black bottom cord And then spraying it with the gold Gives you an antique bronze color because this is the antique bronze color which is the exact same see i'll show you this is the exact same color which i wanted so i really like this i'm happy with it this is so easy even if you base got it with other color and then spray paint it it's only going to take you are less time there's some area where there is less color and then dark because that's how that's how i want it okay, i'll show it now so overall i'm happy with the outcome and uh, anyway i'm happy with it i'm happy how it turned out and uh, this is my first try so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it if you do so don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you in my next video bye